Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about the Neo Axis engine, specifically Neo Axis Engine 2020.3. Now, we're not going to do a ton of hands on with the engine. I've covered it a couple of times in the past, but here's a quick preview. This is Neo Axis Engine in action. As you can see, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty engine. Uh, it's uh, BGFX behind the scenes for the rendering. It's pretty capable, a C sharp powered engine. Uh, the UI is a little bit. Uh, different, but for the most part, it, it is a very uh, well-rounded and capable game engine. It's even gotten a 2D game engine recently. It actually gets updated quite a bit. And uh, today we're talking about it specifically because it was open sourced. Now you may have noticed in the uh, title up above, I uh, have that asterisk and I really wish I could stop using the darn asterisk because frankly, this engine wasn't technically open sourced. It was source available. And that is definitely a difference. It is not under any OSI compliant source code license. The code is up on GitHub, as we will see in a few seconds, but there are some limitations of the license. So that is kind of uh, one of those things. And I kind of wish people would stop doing that so that I wouldn't have to go through all the light, um, all the uh, the details in, in that regard. So here you can see the 2D engine in action. If I wish they just use a standard open source library and then half the video wouldn't be about licensing semantics. But sadly, that is the case. So this is, again, a quick look at uh, the uh, Neo, Eng Neo Axis engine in action. This is the full-blown editor. It's... Um, Again, a pretty capable uh, engine on the whole. I'm not going to get into a ton more detail on it simply because I have already covered it. In fact, here we are at the Neo Axis homepage available at neoaxis.com. And if you scroll down, you will find a link to my overview video. So if you want to learn a little bit more in depth about Neo Axis, that is the link available there. But it is a royalty free open source platform, open source asterisk, uh, modern architecture, design of the editor, C, uh, built in C sharp and visual scripting, complete set of tools, .NET API, again, built in a full blown uh, 3D game engine with 64-bit uh, floating point precision. So if you're going for that gigantic open world setup, uh, this engine is capable of it. Uh, scene rendering is performed via high-level rendering pipeline. Behind the scenes, it uses BGFX as the multi-threaded renderer. Uh, PBR shaders uh, uses bullet physics. And again, to mention they have a 2D game engine now. Uh, sprites, characters, 2D game framework, fast level creation tools, 2D physics, and so on. So you're going to find it is a very robust engine. It also has full C-sharp support, lightweight C-sharp scripts, typical C-sharp programming. Not sure what that means. Uh, uses a standard C-sharp program file, so you can use it in uh, Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. Um, yeah, so basically that is Neo Axis Engine. And this is what we were talking about. They actually did a release about... Uh, three weeks to a month ago where they said that they were going to be open sourcing but nothing further. So I didn't really cover that because it was an announcement of something that was going to happen. Well, today we actually have that announcement. So uh, Neo Access Group Limited announces it has changed the licensing scheme of its flagship product Neo, Neo Access Engine, an integrated development environment with built-in 3D and 2D game engines. Uh, now the product is distributed under a license which has no royalties. Also, full source code for the products are provided. Uh, we hope you enjoy the new Neo Access Engine development move. So we've got here about the license. So again, it doesn't just use a standard license. The, the limitations on it aren't unreasonable. It's just if you use a standard license, people know what they mean. They know what the limitations are, and people are less wary to use your application. Whereas if you have your own license, it can be a little disconcerting for people. Now, here are the limitations of the license. Let me just zoom that in a little bit. Well, it actually doesn't scroll. All right. So we got uh, number one, when publishing your product, you must add made with Neo Axis Engine with www.neoaxis.com uh, with the product information and in the credits. You can distribute the editor with your project, but if you do, you have to keep the, the uh, window title of the editor as your project name, Neo Axis Engine 2020.3, www.neoaxis.com. Or if you made the engine modification, modified version of Neo Axis 2020. Uh, Point three. Uh, so basically, it's, it's an attribution license at this point in time. And you can distribute the source of the Neo Axis engine in the case of publishing any part of the modified source code, for example, by means of creating a fork or other distribution message uh, method, you automatically become the contributor of the Neo Axis engine. This means that the Neo Axis Group Limited reserves the right to use your modified source code at its discretion, for example, to improve the original version of the Neo Axis engine. Copyright for the modified code is still yours. So that is that if you're interested, the social code, the source of social code, I gotta stop uh, reading while I'm speaking, I guess. Uh, the source code is available up on GitHub under the Neo Axis archive at Neo Axis Engine. Of course, I will have all of the links down below. You will notice, of course, there is no license here. Uh, that is kind of the downside here. Um, but everything else is here. So if you want to work with it, uh, it's all it's all here. 
So if you want to get into it, the engine itself, I believe is, let's go in here. The editor is written in C sharp, it looks like, and the core is written in, come on, give me some code, C sharp. All right, so it's a primarily C sharp based engine. So if you wanted to jump in and uh, contribute to a project, again, hopefully they decide to move towards an established source code license. I, I actually, there, there are caveats here. Um, I have to imagine that this actually, this is the standard attribution. I can 100% get that. Um, I, I imagine there's a source code license that actually hits all of these buttons. But uh, let me know. I, I know probably one of the uh, Creative Commons license would, but that's normally for assets, uh, the, the uh, CC BY or something along those lines. But let me know if you can think of a source code license that would kind of cover all of these things. Um, because I, I honestly think they could use a standard license here and they probably just didn't. So, And if they, again, adopt an OSI certified license, it brings a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of companies that simply won't touch this stuff uh, simply because you know the license could be a time bomb to them, whereas they trust OSI licenses. So it's definitely a nice move. Uh, good job on the new Axis team. Hopefully it brings more people over to the, uh, the engine that they've created. Again, if you want to learn more about it, I did do that video. It is linked off their homepage. So you can you know get a little bit more of an idea of what's going on here. The nice thing is they do actually do. So we go over to their news page here. You're going to see their release schedule is pretty um, consistent. So April, so May, and then they did one in April, and they did one in... Uh, uh, March, and they did one in December. So they do consistent updates. And each one of these updates actually adds a fair amount of new features. So uh, it is very much an actively developed engine. It'll be interesting to see now that they're open source asterisk, uh, if they kind of develop a bit of a community and if it starts to build around it. Uh, but let me know what you think of NeoAxis in general, what you think of this open sourcing. And most importantly, again, if you can think of a source code license that uh, nails all of those points that they're trying to hit, uh, let me know that too. Because Alrighty then, so that's it. That's Neo Axis is now open source asterisk. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.